Hi, it's Rob from The Brush and Balcon. Today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to paint Dark Angel battle line markings. Okay, so we're going to start with Citadel Mephist on red. Now, as you can see, the shoulder pad that we're doing here already has some detail made onto it. You've got that lanyard going across it, a few little icons hanging off that. But we're still going to do the Dark Angel's battle line markings on it. So the way that I start doing these is I'll initially be going and putting on the two horizontal lines, the top and the bottom of the horizontal sections of the battle line marking. Now, if you're not too sure what it looks like usually, it's basically a rectangle in the middle with an arrowhead on each end pointing away from each other. It's like a double-headed arrow with the rectangle in the middle. So to start with, I always just do the two horizontal lines, which is slightly out of shot there, of the top and the bottom of the rectangle. And then you can just fill that in with the red. A lot of the time when you're looking at markings like this, it looks a lot harder than it actually is. And it's all a case of breaking it down into manageable parts. So you do the rectangle, that's got the bulk of it done. And then we're going to put a vertical at each end. Just smooth off that end completely. where you've got the vertical line going at the top and the bottom of it. You're now going to draw a line in the centre of the rectangle, poking out towards the edge of the shoulder pad. Now you do this on each side, and you can then join up the tip of that to the tip of the vertical that you put on the end of the rectangle. And it's just a case of filling in that arrowhead and smoothing off the red that you're using for it. Now as always, you may need to tweak it, you may need to add a little bit of height to the vertical or the bit at the bottom of the arrow. It's just a case of tweaking it so you've got those lines perfectly horizontal and then you've got the arrow head so that's fitting neatly on the end of it. Then once you've finished doing this, you're going to move to the other end and do exactly the same. So you're going to put the vertical lines in at the top and the bottom. You're then going to, you would normally draw the line going horizontally to the tip of where you want the arrowhead to be. On this you can't really do that because it's behind the lanyard. And then once you've sorted out roughly where you want that to be, you're going to use a little bit of Caliban Green, or the colour that you're using. And you're just going to straighten off those edges and get that so it's all fitting together. So there's a little bit of Caliban Green and a little bit of wire flesh there too this is the highlighted area and you're just going to straighten off that line and straighten off that corner as well so as always with freehand you're just going to be doing sections of it and then tweaking it and doing a little bit more then tweaking it and it's just about keep going back and forth and getting that how you want it to look so here you can see that I'm just adding a little bit more to the vertical there straightening up that bottom part of the arrow, then straighten up that horizontal part too. When you look at that, you want to add a little bit more to the arrowhead there too. You want to try and get that as even as possible. Just going to add a little bit more to the bottom of the right hand arrowhead. If you do get any extra paint anywhere, you can just go back with a little bit of caravan green or the top colour and sort that out. It's now going to work on the number. I'm going to be using the number three here. This is copied from, it looked like a page in a Dark Angels Codex. I'm just copying the number three from that. So you're putting a thin horizontal at the top, then a longer one just below that. Now the top one is the top of the bar, which runs top to bottom through the number three. And that longer one is the very top of the three. 
and now we're just going to work on the U shape which makes up the bottom part so starting that if you look at the pictures of the number three or the pictures of the number that you're copying work out where that part's going to start and then just work on this bit on its own now it's going to go down behind the lanyard and probably behind that skull as well and it's going to curl up just at the bottom there you're going to have that little hook shape at the end of the three and then from the top there you're going to have a diagonal running from the top of that u shape straight up to the corner there i'm just going to smooth off the number three and turn it round so that we can get a good angle on that corner as always if you make any little splodges like just at the top of that front part of the three there you can just go over with a bit of Caliban green and touch that up what probably would have helped is if I'd have used a thinner brush. I'd usually use a Wargamer character brush for this from Army Painter but I'm still using the medium layer brush. It's a new one so it does have a very good point on it. But I am using the medium layer brush from Citadel here. And going over it now is just to make sure that that white stands out. It's really noticeable so you can see the number clearly. Once we've got this in place, that's the actual number done. We just need to put that vertical line going straight through the number three all the way down to the bottom. So as always, you're dragging the brush away from the tip in a vertical motion. And then if you turn it round, you're just doing exactly the same to join that up with the bottom part. Now you can just smooth out that line at the very top there, get that so that's, that's nice and squared off and noticeable. And once you've got that down, you can then use any of the other colours that you've used for the shoulder pad just to tweak that and get that so it's looking as good as you can get it. So there you've got the little splodge at the top of the three there, we're just going to take that out with a little bit of Caliban Green. tweak those parts with a little bit of my fist on red like so and that is your finished battle line marking thanks for watching i hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content also think about subscribing to some of our other social media link below thanks very much